A long time Youngstown firefighters about to hang up his turnout gear for the last time. First News Senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti spoke with one of the city's battalion chiefs and got his reflection on a career in fire service. Well, we got into position, we opened up the door. And Silverio Caggiano first joined the Youngstown Fire Department in 1982. Tomorrow morning, when his 24 hour shift ends, he'll retire as a battalion chief. It's been 39 years of just a continual adventure. Today, Caggiano was treating his fellow firefighters to lunch to thank them for nearly four decades of hard work. 39 years, I spent one third of my life in this station, so this was like another whole family to me. Over the years, Caggiano has seen the department shrink from 10 stations now to just eight, and from close to 200 firefighters to around 120. He tells me some things haven't changed. Some of these guys are making exactly what I made when I was a rookie fireman. But the job isn't the same. On the flip side of the coins, the fires have changed. You're not dealing with your traditional fires anymore. The stuff we're putting in our houses is burning hotter, faster. Along the way, Caggiano's become something of an expert on hazardous materials. He still sits on the state's Hazmat WMD Technical Advisory Committee and has been interviewed for documentaries on fracking for oil and natural gas. You find out about the radiation and you find out about this and you find out about the earthquakes with the injection wells. and Through it all, after joining the department years ago, planning to just make enough money so we could afford to go to dental school, Caggiano says he leaves the fire service with no regrets. As an old friend of mine said, God directs you where he wants you. You make your plans, God laughs at them, and then he, you go in the direction that he wants. For now, he says it's time to leave. In Youngstown, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.